In this lesson, I will share with you a tip on how to create a cutout in floors or in walls and generally how to work with model in place voids and system families. I have drawn some walls and simple floor and now let's imagine we want to create a space for shower cabin. In order to create a cutout of chosen depth, I need to go to architectural tab, choose component and then model in place. It is important now to select category in which the cutout will be made. In this case, it is floor. I give it a name. And draw rectangle extrusion. Sometimes it is easier for me to first draw something by solid and right before cutting the elements, switch it to void. So we always have this option to switch between these two geometry. I click finish, but I'm still in a model in place mode. I go to section and make sure my cutout is precise. I can manipulate it by shape handles or by entering some value in properties of extrusion. This method is much more precise. When I try to finish now, Revit would not allow me to do so. I receive an error saying that model in place can't consist only of void forms. So what I will do now is to go to modify tab and use cut command. The cutout has been made. Now I can click on finish model button. Same methodology applies to cutout in any other system families like walls. I go to floor plan view and show you how to cut the corner of walls. I select model in place, wall category, I give it a name. Create void extrusion. In 3D view I use shape handles to lock this to the top and bottom of wall. I use cut command, click on wall, click on void and now everything works as it supposed. I can as well lock this wall uh, together so this corner is uh, properly properly uh, bind it. And this is it. I hope you liked this strip and find it useful.